Hi guys, today we're taking a look at some desktop speakers. So this particular set is from Creative and it's the Pebble Plus. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I have previously reviewed the Pebble V2. I'll include a card in the corner if anyone wants to check it out. It's a great set of speakers, nice and compact and price-wise really cheap. Now the Pebble Plus, actually similar speakers, the only main difference here, it comes with a subwoofer. So sound level wise, both are equivalent. The only key difference here obviously is a subwoofer. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Now I've taken everything out of the packaging, just to note the instructions for connecting this up are on the side of the box. In terms of the content of the packaging, you get a worldwide warranty document, which is multi-language. You get a worldwide compliance document, which again is multi-language. Next, we have the subwoofer in terms of color. It's all black all the way around. It has a connector on the back for a phono connection. Looking underneath, you've got four feet on there and rubber pads on there. The base driver is just over here and the base port is there. In terms of weight, it has a very light feel to it. So in one respect, you could say it's a bit of a cheapo feel to it. Next we have the two satellite speakers and the left hand side one has their branding on there, the right hand side one has an LED indicator and a volume control on there. And if I turn that, get a click and turning it, there is a stop point on there. Feel of the control feels good. In terms of the speakers here, they're two inch drivers on there, full range. So identical to the Pebble V2. In terms of the finish on this, you've got glossy black around the edges. Now looking on the casing of the speakers, a matte black finish around there. Rubber on the bottom, so it avoids it slipping on a surface. Looking on the bottom of the right hand speaker, you can see it's got a gain value, so low and high. So if the speakers were too loud, you can leave it into the low value there. General build of the speakers feels fine. In terms of cable, there's lots of cable with this. So between the two smaller speakers, you've got a cable which is 110 centimeters. And then on the right hand side one, you've got three additional connectors coming off there. First is a phono connector, and that's 120 centimeters. And then you've got a USB cable. That's to power the speakers. And then you've got a 3.5 mil jack, plug that into your PC or device. So remember, you're not limited to just using this on a computer. You can plug it into any device that takes a 3.5 mil jack and it will amplify the sound coming out of there. And general build of the cable feels fine. Let's get this connected up. So the phono connector here goes into our subwoofer. The 3.5 mil cable goes into your output device. So in this instance, I'm just gonna plug it into my mobile. Next thing to do is turn on the speaker and let's turn up the volume. So the first thing to note, if I play music, nothing's working. So it does rely on having power to the device. So this is where the USB cable is plugged into a power source. So it doesn't come with a power brick, but I've got my power strip here. If I plug it in. There you go. So it's reliant on power to work. So keep that in mind. So it's not going to work without that. In terms of positioning the speakers, so each of the satellite ones can be placed either side of your monitor, for example. The subwoofer can be placed on your desk, but it doesn't have to. It can be placed underneath your desk. And a lot of the time, that's what you do with a subwoofer. So if you give the example of a surround sound system, a lot of the time a subwoofer is put out of the way and it just gives that ambient bass sound coming from there. Next, let's test out these speakers. So I've got my laptop set up over here. I've not got the speaker system plugged into it. I've got my sound level meter here, which is about 30 centimeters away from both the satellite speakers, probably a little bit more from the subwoofer. Now let's play some music initially. The volume on the laptop is at maximum. So don't be surprised how poor this is gonna be. So 72 decibels coming from this. So next, let's plug in the 3.5 mil jack into the laptop. It's plugged in now, let's press play.
94 decibels from that. Really loud, I'm impressed by it. So next, let's unplug the subwoofer and see what difference that makes. Subwoofer cables unplugged just over there. Let's hit play. getting about a one decibel difference by just plugging in the subwoofer. Now in terms of sound quality you could probably tell yourself there was some distortion from the two satellite speakers obviously everything's at the maximum but for general usage sound quality is quite sufficient and reasonably good for the price point. You're actually getting budget speakers which will boost the sound quality from your system considerably and again you're not limited to just using it on a laptop any device that can output on a 3.5 mil connector, like an iPad, a tablet, a mobile phone, an iPod, etc., can be connected to this system to make full use of the sound quality from there. I think the sound quality for the price is pretty good. In terms of negative points, I'd say Bluetooth connectivity. So you can't connect anything via Bluetooth on these devices. But that's no surprise for the price point you're paying for this. This is a budget system and for that price, I think you're getting something pretty good for this. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing these. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. Hang around for the end cards for some more cool tech. Drop me a like if you've liked this video. Let me know what you thought of this system. Would you consider buying it? If not, what would be your ideal one to buy? I think for a budget system, it's great. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.